Good morning, ducks. <laughs> you gonna get up, Doug? Doug and I seriously slept in. Not really, are you? Brutal night last night, guys. I, I uh, went to bed at 10, and then I woke up at 12.30 wide awake, and I was up till quarter to five. So I let Dougie on the bed. I'm changing the sheets today anyways. But let's go do the uh, house coat edition of uh, letting the ducks out. Are you coming? No, I. Okay. You, you just have a little nap there, dog. I gotta change the sheets in the bed. Oh man, Doug can't be in the bed this time of year. Like, I'm telling you guys, like, the bed is just full of dog hair. But hey, I went back to the bed and he was laying there and I called him up and gave me a cuddle. All right, let's go. Uh, well, let me get the Crocs on and we'll let the ducks out. Okay, I got my Crocs on. Oh, I love this time of year when it's warm and you, you can go outside with just your house coat on. Little duckies want out. I'm not gonna make them wait. I got lots to do. I gotta change the sheets in my bed and I gotta do my edit. And uh, I gotta get the Argo serviced up today. Listen to them, they can hear me. Or I can hear them, actually. I just woke up, I'll, obviously. <laughs> All right, ducks. Wake up down there. The duck slept in too. There's still a bunch sleeping at the other end. Oh, there's one that can run out of the barn really fast here. She's panicking because all her friends have left. Here she comes. Come on out. Come on out, you goofs. Alright, I'm not waiting. I gotta go brush my teeth. Oh, gotta have a coffee. Oh, I don't believe I slept till a uh, quarter to nine, but then again, I didn't go to back to bed. I think it was quarter to five, ten to five. Up all night, unbelievable. I don't know why either. I wasn't even thinking about anything. Just wide awake. Alright guys, uh, I'm gonna go have my coffee brush my teeth, have a shower, do the edit, and then uh, I'll come out and do egg recon and uh, we'll attack the Argo. And no sign of Doug. I bet you he's still on the bed upstairs. Leave my Crocs outside because I, I probably stepped on some duck poop. I bet you he's still uh, on the bed. Oh, Dougie, what are you doing? Man, it's nice out. It's like 24 degrees, guys. I'm way behind. I'm doing laundry. I got the edit done. I'm, I think today all I'm going to be able to do is get the Argo out of the back of the truck. I'm a little bit burned out. I think I need just to take a little relaxation here. A Re little recharge. The stripper's got the right idea. She's not doing much. We got a group of ducks playing in the, uh, the water over there in the bush. The red-winged blackbirds are crazy. They're coming in eating all the corn. We've got some uh, ducks down in the swamp, not many. Man, the blackbirds, they're everywhere. They're coming in, there's like, they land like a hundred at a time in the corn and uh, take off with the corn. The trees just full of them. But we're missing a bunch of ducks. They gotta be around here somewhere. 
They're sleeping, laying low. It's the heat. Oh, they're down there. They found new mud. That's what they're doing. Haven't done egg recon yet either, guys. I'm way behind. What a beautiful day. Are they ever loud? <laughs> I'm gonna throw my rubber boots on and we're gonna go down to the lake and see what that is. I, I saw a duck go down there last night, so I don't know. Maybe a duck did go down there and stayed down there and is trapped in the ice right now. Fine duck. All right, I got my boots on. We're gonna go to the lake, check out that duck. Oh, the ducks are all down at the creek. I'm just really tired today, guys. I'm not getting a lot done. Yep, they're down at the creek. I was wondering where they were. The flock seemed pretty light in the yard here. They're down there playing in the water. Muscovy's hiding in the shade. They must be overheating. It's 24 degrees, guys. It's beautiful out. Disco. She's always on tour. It's like she's on a mission. She always is like she's going somewhere, you know? I don't know what it is. Another thing I noticed, guys, is that the male ducks don't bother with her. I don't know uh, if it's because she's aggressive and she beats them off, but I have never seen a male duck go near her. Yeah, maybe the males know it's a waste of time to try to do her. But I can tell you one thing, I feel guilty not doing anything today. But I, I feel like, I honestly, I feel like I need to take tomorrow off too. I'm uh, that burnt out feeling. All right, let's go to the lake. See what's going on down there with the ice. All right, I've lost a dog. He was just with me. Doug, I know you're close. Oh, he's right there. Come on. He's been sticking so close to the house. Come on. Like, man, I'm telling you, that dog, you know, you tie him up for a couple days and it's like, bang, he's like uh, glue. There he comes. He was so awesome yesterday, guys. I, I just can't believe, I wish I could have videoed, I was at my buddy's place and, you know, he, I, he, he, he didn't want to be on YouTube, and, but his property is just so beautiful. It's, uh, it's unbelievable, actually. It makes, it puts mine to shame, total shame. And the fact that he's so deep in the bush, um, he can do anything he wants. It's like, it's crazy back there. He's so secluded, seriously secluded. Like, and no, no highway, nothing, man. You didn't even have to worry about Doug, uh, other than, you know, finding that porcupine, which I'm so glad that he treated. And when he first saw it, you know, I, I saw him barking at the tree and I thought, you know, what is he, what's he doing? And then I, I didn't look and then a couple of minutes later, he was back at the tree trying to climb the tree. And that's when I looked and I saw the porcupine up in the tree. I was like, oh, oh. And then my buddy was telling me, you know, oh, the night before he shot one, chewing on his house. Then he showed me the damage. Um, like, you know, you, just, you get animals start eating your house. You got to take things in your own hand here. And he did. It was a log, it's not a duck. Holy ice, Doug, Doug, get back here. If you walk out in that, you'll just go right through. We got a loon here. Oh, it's so beautiful out. Okay, we had a duck on the deck. Well, it could have been a goose. Well, somebody decided to come up in the dock and drop a load. Doug, get back here. Doug! Doug! No! Doug! Come on! Get out of there! There's an otter here. Doug, listen for... Come on, dog! I couldn't uh, figure out what the noise was, and I looked up and there was an otter sticking its head through the... Uh... Doug, come on! Oh, 
man, you're brain dead when it comes to critters. Come on. Doug, listen. Come here. Come. Doug, come. Don't make me get mad. Come on. Doug, come. Oh, you bad. Get over here. Come here. Come here. I had to do a bit of off-camera discipline, guys. Doug uh, was not paying attention here. Um, when I was trying to zoom in on the uh, the loon, I was hearing this noise right in front of me. I was like, okay, this is bizarre. And an otter had broke through the uh, uh, the ice and had his nose stuck up and he was you know, doing a snorting. Doug caught wind of it, absolutely brain dead. All he wanted to do was go out there. So, the otters are back. Yeah, that means that I gotta get the shotgun happening. The ducks are at the creek. And this otter is probably thinking that it's duck buffet early this year, which it isn't gonna take long for the otter to figure out to go down the creek. That's where all the ducks are. Now you can see the ducks with the uh, bulrushes I packed down. Oh, I see a wild duck swimming up the creek, going to our, going towards my ducks. Where are you? I'm doing this in Braille, guys. Where is it? I just saw it. Okay, I can't find it. I got the sun shining on the viewfinder, plus I'm blind. Oh, there it is. Little wild duck. Doug, sit. Be good and stay there. Holy mackerel. Guys, there's ducks flying in all over the place. Well, every year, you know, I gotta keep getting more and more. Oh, the wind off the lake is ice cold. So, otters are back. That's not good news. I gotta keep an eye out for this. Actually, once the uh, ice is gone, I'm gonna have, might have to come down here in the morning and just wait. Came right up. It's like I couldn't believe it. I wish I would have uh, got the camera and focused it on the uh, the noise of uh, you know, or I should say, his head that was coming out of the water. Come on, Doug. Let's go. Come on. That water is cold. <laughs> I didn't count on that. Came down here just to. Uh, I thought there was ducks in the water. Our ducks. And we got predators back. He was going back to the lake, guys. I turned around, and he had, he had did a U-turn. He wants to go after that uh, otter. I couldn't, I, I, I couldn't, I looked over and I saw, I heard the noise, and I looked over and I saw Doug getting all excited, and, and his nose was going in. I could see his nose flexing, and he was doing that snorting thing with his nose, and uh, it was like, he, he, uh, he knew it was there, and I had no clue. But then again, I was trying to zoom in on the, the, uh, the loon at the other end of the lake. That, it wasn't working out too well. Okay, all my ducks are coming back. The whole group's coming back at once, so I wonder if uh, maybe the otter came up the creek. Oh man, the duck adventure. The things that happen here. I, I just did, I did not count on uh, having predator problems this early, specifically in the water. I'm gonna have to keep my eye open. Time to have the shotgun hang inside the door instead of the rifle. Well, I got the rifle and the shotgun. We're back to fully armed and loaded again. All right, I'm going to uh, do a recon, uh, do my duck chores, and then I'm going to uh, rearrange the, my lawnmower and uh, that kind of neat stuff in the garage to, so I can unload the Argo out of the back of the truck and put it in the garage so that I can do an oil change. I don't know if I'm gonna do the oil change today. Wild ducks above us. They keep coming in uh, to the yard. We've got a lot of ducks this year. Oh, two more ducks. Okay, this is getting crazy. There's like eight wild ducks flying over top of the ducks right now. Okay, now they're landing. They're right in with the flock. Okay, I've tried four different attempts here to get video of these guys. There's so many of them flying around and they're so quick. I'm getting nothing on the camera for you guys. But there's an awful lot of ducks here. Awesome. Let's turn into a real nature reserve here. Guys, I've never seen uh, this much waterfowl, wild waterfowl 
come in. Uh, I don't know if it's because, you know, this is what, this will be my fourth year with ducks. Fourth? I'm trying to think. No, third year. Third year with ducks. So I don't know if it's all these wild ant or the wild waterfowl, you know, every year is just a, an accumulation thing. They're starting to, this place is the, the place to come to. I don't know. Oh, there's some more. All right, I can't even get them on camera. They're fast. I've spotted four pairs of wild uh, mallards so far. Now these two males, I don't know what's going on. There's no female with them. Crazy hub of activity here. All right, I'm gonna do a recon and uh, do, do a little bit of work today. It's Sunday, so I'm not gonna go too crazy. This is the first time I've seen a stripper play in her water ever. I, I keep putting water out here for her and I never see her near it. I've seen her, you know, within a couple, you know, six, seven inches, but I've never seen her actually in it. Doug and Stripper, a pair, Dougies, Mr. Otter Hunter, I <laughs> can't believe it, what a dog. See, he wants to keep going back down there. He knows there's a wild animal down there, that's the thing. You wouldn't believe how loud the wind noise was when this group just landed in the tree. I was just washing the tub here. Well, actually, I'm taking the, uh, the heater knot out. And I heard this like helicopter sound above me. It got to be like 150 blackbirds landed at once. I'm not doing too much. I just thought I'd take the electric heat out of here. I had it unplugged the last week or so, two weeks actually, but I thought I'd take it out of the water. Give it a little bit of a rinse. Well, I'm gonna do egg recon next, and then I'm going to uh, do a quick clean up in the garage, and then we'll unload the Argo. Dougie, you're being so good. You don't like being tied up, do you? Oh man, since I did the tie up trick guys, he has been an absolute cling on. Oh Doug, I'm so glad you learned quick. Going in for a snack. It's like one gets the idea for a snack and then it's just like, look out, we're all going in. But they've all got low, low hanging bellies. Lots of girls with eggs. They had their snack. I'm not kidding you guys. They went in there and they all they did was fill their bills once and then come back out. Like a bunch of kids, you know, always oh, coming in for a treat. They've all got low bellies though. Except that one there doesn't. Well, she's got a little bit of an underhang, but some of them are almost dragging. They're so cute walking around. Heading over towards the creek. Oh man, they put a smile on my face. All right, stripper, you've dumped your water. I think it's time. Hmm? Okay, don't freak out, stripper. Okay. All right, go see your friends. Where are you going to go? Poor girl's got a wicked limp. Serious uh, pig leg duck there.
Got a bad feeling about her, guys. I think Stripper might uh, might not make it. I think being free might be too hard on her. But being locked up is not a life for her. Okay, well, we'll leave her alone. She can go do her thing. Drilling in the puddle right away. Yeah, that's what she's doing. Drilling. All right, stripper. Well, have fun. And I'm going to go do egg recon now for sure. We'll do a quick walk around the pen first. <laughs> we need a rainstorm so I can clean the pen out. Because we haven't had any moisture, everything's starting to harden up here. Watering station. Good chance tomorrow. Oh, boys, look at this for a Hawaka of eggs. Okay, can't get my hand out of here with the eggs in it. Okay, sorry about that, guys. I, I put my face in the wrong place, and all of a sudden I noticed that the bar was covering even my eyesight. Goose egg. And then you get a really clean egg. Look at that. Look how clean that egg is. I gotta wonder how they do that. One clean egg and the rest are filthy. Nothing else out here. All right, what's in the shed? There, one here. Oh, Muscovy, three on top. Let's see if they're hiding any on me here. Oh, there's some more here, three more. I think after I straighten out the garage and pull the Argo in, I'm calling it a day. I feel a little bit fatigued today, guys. It doesn't look like they're coming into the barn too much to eat. The feeder is untouched. But it does look like they're coming in to lay eggs. So, look at this. Camo nest. Let's bury another goose egg, guys. That's a big goose egg, actually. Doug is laying on the back deck in the shade. It's even too hot for him in the sun. Oh, we're school. Holy, look at this one. That's a big, nice. This is a nice uh, clutch of eggs. They come in here to lay their eggs, but not to eat. Oh, that's a heavy pail, guys. Oh, there's more. Okay. Uh, actually, I'm thinking this is the biggest pail yet. Weight-wise, it feels it. Now, that's a full bucket of eggs. Oh, Doug, you're back at the front door. Can't make your mind up, back door, front door. You know, when you get up three hours late, 
actually three and a half hours late. Man, does it put you way behind. I think it's like 4.30. I still haven't got the Argo out of the truck. Got to do a quick clean up here in the garage. Take the uh, plow off the front of the lawn tractor and uh, get the Argo out of the back of the truck. So I'm gonna wash up the uh, heat lamps and the uh, watering stations. And I gotta take that off. That's like two minutes to take that off. Well, maybe th five minutes, anyways. And it's five o'clock. Not 4.30 like I thought. And I still have to fold my laundry. I've got three loads of laundry to fold. And all I really wanna do, guys, <laughs> is lay down and have a nap. Oh man, I'm beat. The manual that came with the uh, plow showing how to take it on and off the tractor is not that way. He was asleep on the deck at the house and as soon as he saw me sweeping the garage, he came over to help. Oh, Doug, you're not helping. Okay, stop it. You're wrecking my broom. Okay. Look out, look out, look out, look out, look out, look out. <laughs> oh, you're worse with brooms than you are with shovels. Okay. Let go. <laughs> oh, Doug. Okay, no, no. No. <laughs> you don't listen, do you? Oh, Doug. Okay, let go. Okay, why do you like brooms better than shovels? Okay, get back. Get back. Let me get one more sweep in. If you go really fast, sometimes you can get the garage done and he doesn't take the broom on your hand. Okay, that's it. No more. Okay, he just bit my bum. Okay, biting my bum because I didn't let you chew the broom isn't part of the game. All right, next on my list, wash that and then unload the uh, Argo. I really should have done this earlier, but it was cold out and I really didn't want to heat the garage up just to do a bunch of washing. So today's free heat day because it's warm outside. Getting ready for the, the babies. More ducks flying in. That's unbelievable, man. Okay, garage is done. I'm ready. I can pull the Argo in here. I got the heat lamps uh, hanging on the ceiling drying out here. I uh, submerged them in water and gave them a good washing. Everything's clean, ready for the hatch. All right, let's get this Argo uh, out of the truck so I can relax because it's already 6.25 and I haven't folded my laundry yet. I still gotta do my domestic chores.
almost went through the inside of the truck, guys. I, I've never drove an Argo before, so, uh, you know, I drove it onto the truck, and I actually uh, rammed it through my cab, and I, I broke the back of the uh, the cab of the truck. It's got a crack now uh, inside. So when I was backing up, I had no idea what I was doing. I was guessing, so I, uh, you know, when you're backing something up that you're not too sure of, um, it's like I'm going, oh, I hope I have it lined up, and then it turns sideways inside the truck, and anyways, it's gonna take some practice. But first thing I gotta do is some maintenance, because uh, that was my deal with my buddy. I told him I'd do basically all the, uh, the yearly tune-up stuff. So I've got the owner's manual, and I've got the filter and all that kind of neat stuff. So I'm gonna be playing uh, garage tomorrow. I'm thinking this is gonna pack the swamp right down. It's like a mini tank that floats. I'm done for the night, guys. It's 25 to seven. And tonight I'm gonna to try to get the camera going. When I, I Last night I did something with the ducks and I didn't film it because I'm trying to figure out how I can uh, capture this. But it turns out when I come out the back door, I, I don't even have to say anything. What I'm doing now is I just wave the herding sticks in the air and the ducks all go into the pen. It was the most epic thing last night, but I can't figure out how I can film it and catch me, you know, in the video waving the sticks and showing the ducks going in. So I don't know how I'm going to do it tonight, but uh, all I know is last night I said nothing, came out the door, I just took the stick like that in the air. And as soon as they saw the, the red, I guess, flashing in the air, boom, it was a race to the pen. Come on, Doug. Doug doesn't like the Argo. I wondered where he disappeared to. He was in the cab of the truck, covered in mud, sitting on my driver's seat. Anyway. Freaked him right out. I don't know. <laughs> the dog. <laughs> yeah, yesterday, you know, the shooting the, the porcupine out of the tree, dog wasn't even phased. And it was a real loud gun, too. And you know what I forgot to do, guys? I forgot to put my roast in the oven. So I'm having, I don't know what. I gotta figure out something, some kind of leftover. I just realized I was in the garage and I was like, oh, I forgot to put my roast in. I got so, uh, I got so sidetracked today. Because I kept thinking it was gonna be an early day and I was gonna get uh, to relax. My mistake, it's not an early day, it's like seven o'clock. I gotta get to bed, I'm tired. But I can't go to bed till I put the ducks away, okay. Ducks are playing in the water. They just lay in the water and do nothing. I just looked over there and I thought I saw a duck dead. And she was laying down in the water, completely still, now she's having a bath. Believe it or not, guys, we need rain. The creek's already stopped running. It's just trickling. I'm going to the back door. My feet are dirty. Doug's really dirty too. Keeps disappearing today, but in a good way, because he's going down to the swamp to run with the ducks. That's a good thing. The ducks are really embracing the swamp this year. Like, absolutely no coaxing. Completely going down there on their own. There's quite a few down there right now. They're not even hanging around in this area much. But there's not a lot of ducks in the yard. There's some little hunters over here. It's got to be because they're older. They're really, really adventurous. And they're not, they don't stick together like, uh, you know, the last two years. You know, they stuck in groups, you know, basically almost all in one group. And they're absolutely just scattered everywhere. Like I keep looking up thinking, okay, I've lost a bunch of ducks and, and then they appear from all over the place. Doug's down there, uh, he just lost it. And he's been uh, running the creek. He's super hyped today, guys. He's actually wound right out. He's gonna sleep like a baby tonight. They're just running like a maniac through the ice cold water. But something was just down there that he lost it. And the ducks all got out of the creek too. So it might have been the otter.
but oh, he's really dirty. I think the creek's, uh, oh, Doug just went through the ice. There's uh, water on top of the ice, that's what it is. The creek's not totally thawed. Because I was wondering, I thought Doug was pulling a little bit of a walk on the water trick there, like he's doing right now. Okay, there's a mosquito bite my head. Sorry about the jiggling the guys, but uh, the first mosquito of the year. I'm all over the place guys. There's like all of a sudden mosquitoes everywhere. And they're not male mosquitoes, they're females. They're biting. Okay, gone back in the bush. And the ducks are coming back fast. Just look at them coming. Something's freaked them out. Well, Doug's just took off. He's out of sight now. They ever come back quick? Except for that one. That one's taking his time. But this little group, they uh, scampered back pretty quick. Oh, there's Doug. He's coming back. The coast must be clear. He just swept the perimeter. He's so happy when he does that. Gonna be a lot of editing going on, guys. I have been swatting mosquitoes like you wouldn't believe it. Camera's been going all over the place. Oh, Dougie's, you're dirty now. Okay, a goose. The, the gray goose just tried to mate with the female and Doug got really upset and just attacked the gray goose. He was actually quite aggressive about it. I wish I would actually had the camera pointed towards it when it happened. It was pretty wild. I, I thought Doug was gonna try to kill the goose and he was, uh, the goose was on top trying to mate the female and Doug was like, you're not having any part of that. All right, I gotta go get something out of the oven or sorry, freezer. That's all, oh, man, I'm tired. Oh, guys, <laughs> I thought today was gonna be an easy day. It's turned out to be a long day. Can I trust you? I think I can. You've spent the whole day in the backyard. I think you're pretty focused on the swap there, dog. He's showing no interest today for the front of the property. I'm gonna try something, guys, without the hurting sticks. I'm gonna see if it's just me coming out here that causes them to go in. No. They're not going in. No, they're doing nothing. Well, Dougie's right there. Yep, absolutely nothing here. Well, let's grab a herding stick and see what happens. Okay, now they're not doing it. Make a liar out of me. I knew it. Oh, they're starting to move. I'm waving the stick above my head, guys. Look at this. We got some stragglers over there. They're not moving. Yeah, they're going. Okay, waving a stick in the air with the red flag on the end there. Gets them going. Sorry about the bad camera work here, guys. I'm, I'm waving the stick and trying to aim here in Braille.
Well, they're making a liar out of me tonight. <clears throat> well, they're making a liar out of me, guys. Some are going in. I knew it, you know. I thought, oh, I, I'm, I'm not going to bring the camera out. And I did, and uh, they didn't do it. Stripper uh, just hightailed it right into the pen. Actually, she was like in the first wave that went into the pen. She's not, she didn't waste any time going in with her buddies. So there she is. Her first night back with the flock. Oh, she's got her head tucked in. Oh, stripper. I hope nothing happens to you. But she ran in really fast. I, I couldn't believe it. Like her little uh, pig leg, and she was just uh, flipping it around, running like a maniac in with all the other ducks. All right, day turned out to be much longer than I uh, wanted it to be. But I did manage to get some food in me. Not what I wanted to have for supper, but I'll have that tomorrow night. Oh man, the frost. It's twisted the fence so bad. I got serious dead shorts. <sighs> There's another dead short somewhere because it's flashing red. Oh, the old pen, it's falling apart. The cedar posts are rotten, that's the problem. It's twisting. It's like uh, it's over 20 years of frost twisting, so nothing's uh, straight. Ooh, that post is really leaning now. It's not frozen to the ground anymore. All right, we're energized. Oh, the fence, the, the, the pen needs to be repaired really bad. Actually, it needs to be replaced. And don't forget to like the video and share it with your friends and enjoy the show.